Could you describe in detail a particular scenario or incidents where you utilize your own philosophy on leadership? You know, the question earlier about conducting or being a conduit, some guests like to reference back to that when they answer their question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that also you, you kind of discover yourself. And mm-hmm. one of the things that I've worked really hard to do is to uh, become the kind of conductor, the kind of leader that allows people uh, to, to shine in their own way. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to do. Um, it's hard to do because the conductor's out there waving his or her arms around right. the spotlight. The microphone is always on them. But and this is on a purely musical level. I've learned, hopefully, and I still have more to learn as we all do, to kind of let go mm-hmm. and allow the energy of the musicians creating something to kind of dictate or, or uh, offer uh, a pathway for what comes next. Mm-hmm. Rather than trying to control it and demand it, as you're conducting, you can kind of hear what people are giving to you and you let that unfold naturally. And that's what I've tried to, to, to learn, especially here when I work with the same musicians on such a regular basis, which I never had before. Maybe mm-hmm. when I was a music director, I never had that regularity. So that's what I've tried to do. And I think the orchestra is growing with that too. Yeah, I would you know? agree.